first fire crews had been on the ground and in the air trying to put out fires in parts of the Hudson Valley. For more than 24 hours, emergency officials have been working this massive brush fire in Blooming Grove, and we are still covering those brush fires in Rockland County that force hundreds of people out of their homes. Our Emily Young is on the scene with the very latest. Emily. Yeah, Rockland officials say they haven't seen anything like this in 30 years. Brush fires popping up throughout the county, and it took firefighters hours to put them out yesterday. And today they are back at it, putting out hot spots that appeared early this morning. Right now, firefighters are checking out all the side streets off of Old Haverstraw Road in Congers, which is where about 100 homes were forced to evacuate. And they're just making sure they have everything under control and all the fires contained. Congers sustained the worst of the damage. Check out this house on Hazen Lane. Their ATVs are destroyed and look at their shed. It's completely gone. The homeowners tell me that they were actually in the middle of renovating their house. So everything they owned, furniture, pictures, memories, it was all in that shed. And look at the house structure itself. The siding is completely melted. We caught up with the homeowners as they sifted through what's left of their precious memories. By afternoon, the wind kicked in and uh, it just ignited this place. Neighbors rushed over here yesterday with their garden hoses to try and contain the fire before the fire department came. Fire was above the, across the street, ran across. Everybody was, you know, running around going crazy. And we all grabbed each other's hoses, hooked them up to spigots and did what we needed to do until um, the fire department came. And take a look at this marshy area that is now black with char. This area is actually protected wetlands, home to foxes, snakes and turtles, deers and rabbits. It's honestly devastating to think of the loss of animal life that happened here. So how did these fires start? Well, witnesses say they saw a CSX tanker on fire, and that does make sense because these fires did break out along the CSX train route. Now, CXS says they've looked into it and they haven't found any problems with their trains. We're going to meet up with the county executive later on today for a full update on the Rockland County fires and an update on the Orange County fires is coming to you right now. Our News 12's Ben Nandy is in Round Hill with the latest.